classic duck à l'orange and we're going to be making that tonight with some duck breasts and some oranges. Zest, three oranges. You need the zest from two of the oranges, the juice from three and the peel segments from one. The other thing that you have to be aware of in this recipe is it does say it's supposed to marinate the breasts for 24 hours before you cook them. Okay, so what are you doing now? Juicing. Of? Three. Right. What are you looking for? The Rima. <laughs> we occasionally... No, I didn't get it for you. That turned up at work as a, as a sample. I'll tell, I'll tell you what it is. It's a good weapon if someone breaks into your house. Yeah, if you just happen to be reaming a citrus and someone and a burglar gets in. <laughs> but now, maybe we should, I think we should compare the reaming performance of this with our traditional, not wooden, but traditional... Ribbed. Ci ribbed reamer. <laughs> yeah, this is so much better. The thing that's a bit strange about this recipe is it calls for three breasts. How many breasts do ducks have? Yeah, there's a lot of funny numbers in here. I mean, I bought four in the shop. Do you think we could just do four? No, three. We're sticking with the quantities. Zest of two, juice of three, segments of one, three duck breasts, and I think it must be for a reason. 200 mils of soy sauce. That's a lot of soy. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One tablespoon of honey. Okay. Three duck breasts, yep. and you've got to slash them uh, in a lattice effect so the flesh just shows through. So let's see how I go there. Oh, you've sharpened this. I have, you? I just sharpened it a minute ago. Did you nearly cut through? Sorry, I should have told you. Okay. I don't think I've ever had duck no, alone. I'm very excited. I think it's going to be really good. It made quite a lot of marinade, didn't it? Uh, really? Do you know, honestly was, could we not pop the other one in? I don't, just don't want to yeah, have one in, less chuck it in, chuck it in. Yeah, chuck it in, chuck it in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yep. Get it. Where is it? I put it in the freezer before. I don't think we're diddling the figures too, too bad. We can do some more orange segments. Oh, that's a lot firmer. I would suggest actually better to, to cut the the skin and the fat chilled, when it's a bit when it's chilled. chilled. Yeah. In the marinade. For 24 hours. The next day, 24 hours later, Lenny's just got some potatoes on the go. Ta da! It looks mm -hmm. well marinated. I need to segment this fourth orange. Um, how will I do it? Skin off first. You don't want any pith. I'm cutting down either side of the membrane. Are you taking the membrane out all together? Yeah, absolutely. Oh. I'm just going to get that pan to a kind of a medium heat. I just so don't want it to stick. It just says pan fry the duck, skin side. Do you know? Down. I'm going to put a tiny bit of oil in the pan because I don't want the fat to stick. I won't put olive oil in because I don't want to. I mean, yeah, it doesn't. Don't want to change the flavour. Just a very little bit and just wipe it around the pan with a paper towel. I would suggest. Yeah, well that's perfect. Thin coat of oil. Skin side down. Are we going to cook four bits or just two bits? Possibly a bit higher heat. Yeah, you? actually, I do. I'll it's not very much because you don't want it to sort of poach, do you? No. So, 10 minutes on the skin side to brown and start cooking through. Filming? Yep. I think it's, I'm just going to turn it down again because see how it's already starting to really blacken those little bits of cinnamon in there? And I'm worried that, I mean, it's only been in for about two minutes. I'm worried that it's going to start burning the skin. Yeah, so I'm going to turn it down quite low. Here we are. Bit of fat coming out of this Quite a lot. Nearly, nearly a centimetre of it in there. So has that been ten minutes now? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, I've now instructed to pour off the fat. Tongs or flipper? Tongs. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, we nearly met too far, but I think we've... I think we've you know. Yeah, that one's a bit better. That That's bit perfect. Better. Yeah, yeah. And we put the breasts back in. Fleshy side down now. Okay, half the marinade. And the segments. And the segments. Yeah. There we go, two And the marinade. We're going to keep these for later, so how much? That much marinade? Yeah. That's enough. So yeah. now we let that go for another five minutes. I would turn the heat up on that. Here. Turn it up high until, so it, starts it, until simmer. it starts to simmer. And then we'll turn it down for five minutes. Yeah. 
That is blanching some mange too as well, which I think is a bit random, really. Well, you can't just have duck and potatoes. That's not very healthy, is it? Five minutes on that side. It didn't say to thicken the sauce to any particular consistency. It just said allow it to thicken for, for five, five minutes. For five minutes. And now we put in 50 grams of butter, which is quite a hefty whack by anyone's standards. And let that melt down and then whisk it in, right? Yep. Well, Whoopsie oh, daisy. Camera, the camera equipment on. It's the deck. Warmed plates. How much potato? We maybe, maybe we should have done with some some uh, au gratin potato. Oh, um, creamy with the orange. I'm not sure. I don't want to break up those orange segments too much. It's not know. to be whipped up or anything like that. It's know. just to be the butter to be distributed through. Yes. That looks nicely done. This up here will give it a bit of light. That has really made that a lot richer, hasn't it? Putting the butter in. Mm. It's got a lot more velvety look to it almost. Sitting in a nice spot. Well, you put my wine glass there. Oh, it smells, um, you know, the mix of the cinnamon and the honey is really nice. Is it heady? Is it a heady mix? Well, not like that, but... Hmm. I was just thinking it's saltier than I thought it would be, and then I remembered we've got all that soy in there. Very orangey. It is strong, the orange flavour. Not overpowered by the soy sauce. No. Do you know what would be the best with this though? A potato puree. I mean, a really nice mash mm -hmm. to soak up the juice. That's what we should have had, not sauteed potatoes. I think uh, old gratin would be. Do what you're talking about, dauphinoise, is that what you're talking about? The creamy potato. We want side dish suggestions on the blog, please. 